Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and today's tutorial video. In this video I'll be showing you that you can draw realistic dog nose like this one using just three colours, black, dark indigo and dark sepia from the polychromos range. So first off we're going to start by using the dark sepia. I'm using the dark sepia to outline the dark edges that you can see in the reference photo. This includes the nostrils, and the filtrum. So the filtrum is that middle line that you see in a nose. When you're outlining your nostrils, make sure that your lines are curving. You want to create that effect of the curvature of the nose and the nostrils. So here you can see how I'm using curved lines to create that curve coming in from the nostril and out to the nose. So by mapping in these darkest areas, this is how we're going to really be able to judge our dark areas and our highlights better. We're then using circular motions to fill in the darkest parts of the nose and all the dark parts that we can see. We're still following the structure of the nose. Always keep that structure of the nose in the back of your mind. As you get lower down the nose, you can use longer lines. Obviously, st again, still following the structure of the nose. All of this we're still using the dark sepia. The circular motions are going to help you create the texture of the nose without you actually having to focus on a lot of the detail. This is going to just help create that texture as you build up the pressure. You've got to be using very light pressure at this stage. You don't want to be using really harsh pressure. So here you can see that I'm using long lines to help create the structure of the bottom part of the nose whereas towards the top half of the nose I was using the circular motions. This just differentiates between the different textures that you can see on the nose. I'm also following on the left hand side the curvature of the nose. We've got a, the part, This part of the nose is going to curve into the nostril which we can see more than on the right hand side of the nose. I'm also mapping in some of the dark lines that I can see for detail, but we're not pressing too hard again. We just want an indication that those lines are there. So at this stage, it's all about mapping in just the different shades of areas that you can see that need to be darker, areas that need a bit more detail, all with the dark sepia. I'm then coming in with the black. We're going to darken the darkest parts, so this is obviously mainly in the nostrils. Again, we're remembering the curvature of the nose as you do so. The darkest parts we can use dark, uh, harder pressure. Sorry, The harder pressure is just going to make that black really dark. I don't use a huge amount of black in my work, um, especially on the noses, mainly in the nostrils and for some of the finer details that you can see. Again, I'm following that curvature of the nose because we want to create the effect of this nose being 3D. We then bring the dark sepia out once again and we're going to start adding a little more pressure to darken up these areas on the nose. Again, keeping with the circular motions at the top of the nose, still following once again that structure, creating the curves and the shape of the nose. The circular motions is now used with a bit more pressure. This way we're going to start seeing a bit more detail added with our pencil. We're keeping the lines curved where the nerve where the nose has curvature, coming from inside that nose to the outside. We're darkening up these lines on the bottom half of the nose. Again, we keep, as you can see, now that the curvature is coming in and we're darkening pressure, you can see the shape of the nose. We're now coming in with a bit of dark indigo. This is going to help us create that glistening look on this part of the nose underneath the nostrils. Just add a very light pressure. So you can see in all the areas with a bit of highlight, I'm still following all the same strokes that I've been using previously, but we're using the dark indigo now. And again, here we go, the dark indigo all across the top of this nose, circular motions, 
probably slight, slightly larger than what's been used on the bottom half of the nose that you've just seen me draw in. Um, and this is going to create that top texture of the nose. That when you look at your reference photo, this area of the nose is normally very, very textured. So by using the circular motions, we're going to start building up that little bit of texture that we can see on the nose. Again, adding the dark blue, dark indigo underneath the nostril. This is where we're going to have some highlights. Now, I'm using the Derwent Drawing Black here just to darken the darkest parts of the nostrils. You don't need to use this pencil. You can still use the Polychromos Black, but I just find it's the best black to use for dark, deep dark blacks. Um, because, obviously, these areas are very dark, I'm going in with very hard pressure, lighter pressure towards the top of the nose where it's, the nostrils are joining the nose itself um, but you might as well go in with darker pressure because these are black areas and lighten up that pressure as you come away from the inside of the nostril back to the polychromos pencils so now i'm bringing back in the dark sepia 